Hey everybody, Abdullah Shamara here. Today we'll be continuing our series on 100 baggers. What happens if you had invested in Apple? Make sure to subscribe to my page, click the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and check out the link below to my Patreon. You'll get updates on my watch list, my portfolios, and instant posts as I buy and sell each and every day. So to illustrate the power of 100 baggers, I'm going to go through a few examples in various videos of different companies that were 100 baggers or are 100 baggers, such as Apple Inc. In order to be able to see the compounding growth of your money, if you had invested in the company at the IPO, or 10 years after the IPO or even further along than that what the growth of your money would have been what happens if you had invested $1,000 so Apple Inc has been around since the late 70s they went IPO in 1984 and so that was the first opportunity that the general public would have had to invest in the company so in 1984 the company was trading at 11 cents if you had invested right at the IPO in the company your money would have grown from $1,000 to $1.1 million dollars over the 40 plus years that it would have stayed in the in the company and that's to say that you wouldn't have traded anything you would have also gained dividends which we aren't taking into account with this we're only taking into account stock splits if you had invested at the lowest point Apple had ever traded that would have been at seven cents and your $1,000 would have grown to 1.8 million dollars if you had invested 10 years down the line in 1994 your $1,000 initial investment would have been over half a million dollars as of today if you had invested in 1994 let's say you had invested in 2004 if you had invested in 2004 your one thousand dollars would have turned into one hundred thousand dollars and finally if you had invested in in 2014 in apple your one thousand dollars would have turned into four thousand dollars as you can see the longer you keep your money in these growth companies the bigger and more the, co the money compounds we went from 1.1 1 million from IPO to if you invested 10 years ago it would have been gone from 1,000 to 4,000 dollars so definitely have to keep out an eye out for those 100 baggers and the biggest thing is don't sell when you think you have a 100 bagger or it's a company that you know is going to continue to grow for a long time you want to keep that investment in the company and just kick the coffee can and just don't look at it let it continue growing and helping to make you money Apple continues to be a growth company that many individuals invest their money in I know I personally own Apple in my portfolio in order to be able to continue to catch the growth that Apple has the company is able to generate considerable cash flows they're a super profitable business where they sell a premium product that everybody wants there's lines always outside of the Apple store and various other stores to get their products and finally they always grow sales year over year based off of their demand and the continued growth in the population more people want their products as they generate generate new products as they bring new stream of products such as the airpods being the most recent they continue to grow their business and be able to continue to grow their customer base that's a tremendous sign of a 100 bagger there is tremendous growth in the stock back in the 80s although that growth has dwindled over the years it continues to be a profitable business and a business that generates cash flow and a business that brings its investors profitability and gains year over year although the gains might be smaller now now, they continue to be there as we could see from the last year that the stock has almost or more than doubled over the prior year that's tremendous growth for a company that's in the one to two trillion dollars now of valuation Apple is a stock that you want to include in your portfolio although it might not give you the gains that you want that you're seeing in some of these other SPACs and small cap stocks it's a steady growth that will continue to bring in money for your portfolio for years to come as always make money Enjoy life. Peace.